Fastball slider, curveball for the most part. Let's see what he's got tonight. So good, it can't be. Pirates won two to one yesterday. Swinging early in the count. And he's got a quick out. For Charlie Blackman. Right there for a strike. Rare to see Charlie Black Blackman hitting under 260, 270. He's gotten out of the gates kind of slow, but all players, but hopefully not until he leaves Pittsburgh. Yeah, that's right. Now 35 years old in Republic. Listed at six feet tall. And he's got a strikeout with the fastball. Oh, that's, yeah, the velo almost at triple digits there, Joe. We talked about Bednar last night having that curveball. That's so much slower than the fast. You know, Bednar, a lot of times you'll see him throw that breaking ball to start off in a bat for in hope that to hit a fastball and square it up and not be late when it's in the upper 90s for the first time you saw it. He just took care of C.J. Crone. Keeping score with one eye. Yeah. Ryan McMahon had a good season at the plate last year. Also, was an we're about a quarter of the way through the season. Let's say you have a rough go of it. Season up the six month season up into two months, right? Oh, what a catch! That defense. On that play that you spoke of with Rodolfo Castro, who just turned 20 today and now starting off tonight, you're starting to see some growth there because he's playing there every day. This time it'll be the second baseman Castillo to take care of it. Nice stretch by Chavis. Cool. Now Randall Grichik, he'll look at a strike. He's in the six month long baseball season. I, I like to break it up into, into months. I like to break it up. Very good. Mm -hmm. There was. Two or three that were going to be right above par, uh, at par, and there was two or three or, or two more that were or something along those lines. Everything is going to be pretty close. Doesn't get him to chase one or two. Right, and in a, a guy like Charlie Blackman's case, he's not panicking whatsoever. I mean, you know, he's looking up and going, "Well." well goes from 0-2 to 3-2. And that time a walk. Oh, now you got to see. All right. Well, maybe I get him to chase, or maybe I, I, I need to find the f to throw those early in the game to see what they have, to see if they're feeling it, if their their grip is a little bit off, if they have different tilt to it. But that's kind of how he uses his slider slash curveball, as you see a hybrid type of slider. Too far outside to get Iglesias to chase. That one hit to right, and Mitchell. Gets in front of it. Iglesias will try for two. And he'll get there. And Grichik held. So even. Sam Hilliard out to center. And one pitch later, that's that. Handed batter. Typically, you, you think they would do poorer against lefties. He did much better in that. Diaz. Out toward the track and one out for Ronce Contreras to come in. You're late. And so if you feel like you're on time, you're at least giving yourself an opportunity to square the ball up. Defensive player. Yeah, slugged better than 700 against lefties as a left handed batter, Cal Mitchell. Is that what you mean by changing angles? Well, you, I mean, you, as, as hitters, you can kind of tell when you're a little bit more steep, particularly if you're a line drive guy. My swing was, was, too, was too much up. So I needed to make sure that I got a little bit more flat with my swing. So when you're getting yourself into that good hitting position, you can feel when that bat launches where, where you know, is it, is it going? As explained by Cal Mitchell and Neil helping us understand it. That's a change. Of and a three. Using the big part of the field. It's really, really if you see it up a little bit to leave it go and if you see it down a little bit it's going to come back up into the zone a little bit more. Cracked out to right and deep 
And toward the wall, Cal Mitchell able to get it in. Wow. <laughs> Don't always get made. That's so true, Joe. And, and something that kind of just reminded me, too. He made a couple good plays. He hit the cutoff man every single time. All of those things are super important for outfielders. Down the line, and Gamble able to get there. Oh, left hamstring strain on the injured list now. And Heath Hembry, a pitcher, to be on the roster. Mitchell was not on the 40 man roster, so Cam Aldred who briefly appeared. Ryan McMahon, that fastball, it, it blasted bat pretty hard, 110 miles an hour. And here he goes up the chain. Up the ladder here with one two count, but his other pitch is working for him yet. No, it really doesn't. And you saw him start McMahon off with a good breaking ball to get to get it started middle away to, to righties especially and just let it run off the plate. Change the velocity, change need you to pitch more so you can give us five or six innings plus. But one thing alone with the kind of stuff he has, you're gonna do what he did. Really, in that first glimpse that we had of him, that ride on his fastball and it's explosive, and you know the hitters will tell you exactly how how the ball is coming out of your hand just by the, how they're approaching the, the swing and if they're fouling ball straight back or if they're early or late. Come ah, there's the pirate ship. <laughs> that was forever. Well, the good news is. You for the kids, there's only one way in and one way out. The bad <laughs> news for the parents is if for arm thing, type right? thing, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh I had I've to try that too, Joe. Oof. My arm could only reach so far up there. Hey, I... they're all having a good time. Hard hit single up the middle for Brendan Rogers at 12 game hitting streak for Rogers. He's on for Randall Gritchick. Long time Cardinal had spent the last few years with Toronto. Got traded. Pretty good hitting environment and lineup ahead in the count. In the air back of Castillo at second. See that seniority. Yeah, we tried that for a few weeks with our dog. Uh, Sid, the pitch for Contreras here in the fourth inning. Right, get an out here. You feel two times in a row. There, and there's Mike Redmond in the foreground, ex Marlins manager, the bench coach. A game on the roads, about six at home. See the runner, Brendan Rogers getting running here. Yeah, just another late swing. As in rise, and, and, and you got to hope when balls are put in play, they're not hit. And so that first at bat, McMahon. Stay in the zone if we do get a breaking ball. And hit the right, base hit. And being on the move, Rogers can take third. It can be for a long night. So far, he's got a zero up there. Steals a strike with a curveball. That breaking ball is a strike just because <laughs> you see it so high out of his hand. Oh, there you see a little change up right there. Ooh. That was a roof. Very much to this point. Keep going up there until he makes a mistake. No throw down with the runner at third. They'll elect to allow Iglesias to. There can be an out there. Or at least an attempt. You see from third advancing and scoring, you know, in a situation maybe he shouldn't have. And he does get the strikeout with the fastball. Contreras, who is barely three in dog years. Well, 31 pitches, faced five hitters, didn't allow a run. And really, if that's the trade off you have to make. We get into that third time through the order, the bull's pen starts to stir a little bit, and that's just kind of how they've been using it. <laughs> well, there's his best slot. It would be unfair to say relied on only one pitch tonight, but really, 
until these last two sliders. Yeah, pitch to Elias Diaz. That was the best slider that he's thrown tonight. And then he starts Carnage Joe off with a with a two slider station. But you know, when you start creeping that third time through the lineup, you got to have got to have that second pitch rolling. In this is what you come in for tonight, Parrot and Dogs. And that curveball painted three straight. He made an adjustment and it's it's working. Now that's the curveball, yeah. I caught the last one. I, I like to call them breaking balls when I don't know a lot of times the difference. But obviously you can tell the difference between the slider and the curveball, hybrid slider curveball as well. So 16 out of 20 first pitch strikes. You got to fit. Pirates don't care. <laughs> <laughs> no, certainly breaking ball, we'll call it. He's got five. Oh, weak ground ball. That's just as good. Well, if that is it for Contreras.